Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing up with Mike, with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. Messing up my intro, I do apologize. Uh, but we have another episode of reviews and reactions, and we're going to be reacting to... Who are we doing tonight? Oh, P-I-L. Public Image LTD. Yes, indeed. We're going to be reacting to... It's from their 1979 and 1980 Metal Box era. Death Disco 1-2 Mix Audio. Not sure what all that means, but nonetheless, uh, link to the original video will be down in the description box. Flavoring pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Zeno Dude. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. As always, going into this blind with my off the cuff comments. If I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. If you would like to see any reactions done on this channel, please look in the description box, and there will be directions on how to uh, give those. Uh, there, again, there are three cues. The first one being our trailer Tuesdays and Thursdays, where we take a look at movie trailers, our regular cue, and the special cue for Halloween, for anything Halloween-related, spooky, etc., etc. But no more going around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. Public image LTD. Death Disco 1 2 Mix. <laughs> kind of funky. I really like that bass. But this guy right here, very creepy.
That was interesting, to say the least. I got a lot to say about this one. See in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Pill with their song Death Disco 1 or 12 or 1 2 Mix Audio. Link to the, that original video will be down in the description box. Free viewing pleasure. At your leisure, and again, this request comes to us by Zeno Dude. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. All right, this was <laughs> this was very weird for me. A very manic kind of a song. It was very funky in the beginning with the bass and the drums, and uh, that's where <laughs> that ended. <laughs> uh, this was very in uh, not instrumental. Um, artsy. I wouldn't say avant-garde, per se, but uh, I've heard better from Pill, if I'm being completely honest. This one didn't really resonate with me a whole lot. Uh, it was very... and made me feel kind of icky inside. It. I don't know if icky is the correct word, <laughs> but like... almost like it made me feel sick a little bit. It's like something wasn't right. Kind of hard to explain, but... Maybe it was just the the mania of it all. He was... Very... Psychopathic. Creepy. I don't know. The way... Uh, when I would see it in your eyes... And the way he would taper off on the eyes was, I don't know, just, ugh. But it did stir something inside of me, so that, I mean, that is what music's supposed to do. Um, but it was, for me, in, in a little bit of a negative way. 
a little bit long, I think, as well. Could probably, sh you know, this is just my personal thing. Maybe shave like minute, minute and a half off. But um, that's splitting hairs, you know. I, who am I to say, oh, you should do this. This this band should have done this with this song and da-da-da-da-da. But I don't know. I just feel like it droned on towards the end. The guitars were... I, I like the tone. It was pretty simple. Very steely. Not a whole lot. There was an echo to it. I, I did like where they were just kind of having the light touch on the strings and just kind of harmonizing up and down the neck and the fretboard. Like I said, nothing too spectacular. Nothing too great. I did enjoy it for the most part. So, score. I am going to give this 3.5 skulls out of 5. Absolutely happy with that score. For all the reasons I just stated. The big thing for me is just, you know, the, the droning on a little bit towards the end. And the manic nature of it all. And, like I said, I've heard better from Pill. I, I can tell this is from more of their, I guess, their, like post-punk era, as opposed to they, when they were, uh, like in, say, the later 80s, a little bit more popish, I would say. So yeah, that's why I got the score that it did. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. Hey, as always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabre, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah! Ah!